Hey guys, it's Fashion here and welcome back to my channel. Have you heard of Scratch? Scratch is an emerging programming language used to make interactive stories, animations and music. And it is popular among children because it is easy to use and understand. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple program in Scratch from Scratch. Now, let's get into the video. Scratch is an open source tool. You can visit the website scratch.mit.edu and join Scratch. You can create an account by entering a username and password. I am signing in to my account. I have given the link of this website in the description. You need to click the create button to create a new project in Scratch. This is the default window in Scratch. I will explain each and every component in the screen. Let's start from this side of the screen. This is the full screen button. When you click on it, the place where the program is made and executed expands. Next button is the default setting. The next button can be used if you are using a bigger script. This is the green flag. When it is pressed, the script gets executed. When you want to stop the execution of the program, we click the stop button. This is the stage where the program is made and executed. This is a sprite which is basically a character used in your program. Scratch gives the option of using many sprites in one program. In this place, you can rename your sprite. I'm gonna name her Kitty. X and Y buttons signify the sprite position. X equals to 0 and Y equals to 0 positions the sprite in the center of the stage. X equals to 100. Take it 100 units forward horizontally. X equals to minus 100. Make it to move backward horizontally. Similarly, Y equals to 100. Move 100 units upward vertically. Y equals to minus 100, move it downward. Now I'm going to change the values back to 0. Show. When the first button is clicked, the sprite is visible. When the next button is clicked, the sprite is invisible. Size. The default size of a sprite is 100. This button can be used to resize a sprite. Direction If you want to change the direction, you can either type the required angle or make the change here. To delete the sprite, you need to click on the dustbin icon. You can choose your own sprite from here. And for today's video, I'm going to be choosing um, a beetle. You can choose a suitable background known as backdrop in Scratch. And for the beetle, I'm going to be going to outdoor section to get a grassy background. Now 
The middle portion in this window is the script area. The blocks are dragged into the script area to make a program. And now, the different kinds of blocks are motion blocks. Motion blocks specify movement. Looks is used for costume and size of the sprite and for the background. Sound helps you to specify a suitable voice for the sprite. Event contains the starting blocks. Control is used to control the behavior of the sprite. Sensing helps to sense in terms of touch, etc. Operators use mathematical operations. Variables help you to count scores in games, etc. And in my blocks helps you create your own block. And for today's video, I'm gonna be explaining you what are motion blocks. Before we start any program, we always choose one of these starting blocks. And to know more about that, stay tuned for my further videos. And for today's video, I'm gonna be taking the first block, which says when the green flag is clicked. And now I'm gonna take the move 10 steps block from the motion area. I'm just going to drag it and put it under. And now I'm going to go up and click the green flag a 10 times to move the sprite. And now you know how to move a sprite. And to delete the block, you just right click and click delete block. And now I'm going to drag this block called turn 15 degrees. And if, now if I click the green flag, you can see that it has turned a 15 degree. And now to turn it back into a 90 degree, I'm just going to take the reverse way of 15 degree. And now you can see that it's in the portion we set it in. And now this is interesting. If you click go to a random position, you can even make it go to the position like where the mouse points. But for now, random position is good. And now... I'm going to the green flag and I'm click it and you can see that it goes to a random position and if I click it a multiple times it keeps going to a random position. In the next block we are going to specify the values for X and Y and as told before 0 in the both places brings the sprite in the center of the stage. And now I'm going to delete this block but before I'm going to take another block and then delete it just in case yeah so I'm gonna click glide so I'm going to glide to X as 10 and Y as 10 too and now watch closely as I click the green flag you can see that it glides to the position it is stored and now I'm going to delete this block and now it is point at direction 90. It is already at 90 so I'm going to change it to 180. And now if I click the green flag you can see that it has turned its direction to 180. And now I want to turn it back. And now we can even make it point to the direction where the mouse points. And now for the next, it's just again where you want it to go by Y and by X. If you go further down, you can see there are three check boxes. And if I take the first one which says X position on the stage, we can see the value of X from where the beetle moves. Same goes with Y. And for the direction, it just shows the direction the BT is in. And I'm just gonna delete that part. Yeah, so now let's, we are going to something really interesting. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna take the go to a random position block. And I'm go going to go down and take if on the edge bounds and you can see when I click the green flag it never touches the edge. It never touches the edge of the screen. It is because 
if on the edge it bounces. So this is Scratch. It is really fun to use like this. And to know more about Scratch, stay tuned for my further videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned till the next one. And make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.